Welcome to Me Diaries. My name is Shandell and I'm here to share a message of hope. I hope you're having a great week. I hope you're having a great day. I'm just glad that you're here with me. Um, if you're liking these videos, I would love for you to like, subscribe, comment. I'm just happy that you're here with me. So this week I've been reading 1 Corinthians and there is so much good in that gospel. I mean, it's just, it was really like, I, I really felt like Holy Spirit just kept talking to me. Um, and, uh, so a couple of the scriptures that I want to read is first in, um, first Corinthians and it's 12, um, 18 through 21. And it says, okay, sorry. It says, but God made our bodies with many parts and he has put each part just where he wants it. What a strange thing a body would be if it only had one part. And yes, there are there are many parts, but only one body. The eye can never say to the hand, I don't need you. The head can never say to the feet, I don't need you. And then if you go down to 1 Corinthians 13, 2, because you know, um, it's before this, after the part that I read, it was talking about the spiritual gifts and everything. And then you go down to 13, two, it says, if I had the gift of prophecy, and if I knew all the mysteries of the future and knew about everything, but didn't love others, what good would, what good would I be? And if the gift of faith, so that I could speak to the mountain and make it move, without love, I would be no good to anybody. So that part stood out to me, you know, um, and like, that's, I mean, it was deep, you know, and I, like, um, I would be a liar if I said I love people all the time. I would be a liar if I said that I didn't fall short and get frustrated and angry and irritated with life, overwhelmed, stressed out, all of these things, right? Especially if I'm not walking in the spirit, if especially if I'm not aligned with Holy Spirit, um, then it's like, I, I, I feel it. I can feel it. Like I'll be like super irritable and everything. And it's like, and you know, I'm like, man, if I snapped at somebody or something, you know, and it's like, I think about it and then I feel guilty for it later. You know, it's like one of those things, like that's why it's important to spend time with God and always be aligned with the Holy Spirit. Right. And we're not going to be perfect. We're going to fall short, but, um, love it. That, that scripture stood out to me. Cause I, I really had to think like, I really examined my heart and, and really was talking to God about this and just, you know, asking the Lord to really reveal to me, like, am I coming from a place of love? What's my motive? What's my, um, what's my purpose? Whatever, you know, like who, who am I thinking about? What am I doing things for myself or for others? Um, you know, and loving people is really, really hard. Um, if you look around the world around us right now, like all the things that are going on, all the divide, all the conflict, I mean, everything in, in other countries and just all of this stuff that's going on, it's, it's like so heartbreaking, you know, it really is. It's devastating thinking about everything. And, um, you know, so that's like one of the things that came to my mind, like, we don't know what somebody's going through. We don't know if they've just dealt with a loss or if they've just gotten out of like an abusive relationship. Like if they just lost their kids, we don't know what somebody's going through. So coming from a place of love could change that person's life, could be that one thing that stops them from wanting to kill themselves. You know what I mean? Like, so that's a, another thing that I was thinking about and a good thing to take in to our minds, you know, when we're setting our day, when we're interacting with somebody that is angry and going crazy on us, right? It's not about us, what's going on with them. It's about what's going on with them, right? Like, and so taking that into consideration, praying, speaking to the Holy Spirit, you know, reading these scriptures, you know, these, these spiritual gifts that God blesses us, blesses us with, that was a tongue twister. It is so 
supernatural and so amazing, right? And and there it's it's absolutely awesome. But the thing is like coming from a place of love. That's a that's a hard thing to do, but the more we push to Holy Spirit, the easier it is to love people. I've said many times to God, Lord, help me forgive God. Show me through your show me them through your heart, through your mind. And we also, if we want to be loved and, and forgiven for everything that we've done in our lives, we got we got to let go of the unforgiveness and the hate or whatever we have towards other people. Because, you know, why are why why do we expect love and and forgiveness if we're not willing to give it to other people, right? We're walking as God's we're walking in God's light, right? We're supposed to be that example of love for others. And if we are hating people, being mean, um, uh, judgmental, harsh with people that don't live up to our standards or where we, we think they should be, right? That's gonna push people farther and farther away from God, especially if we are talking about Jesus and we are judging people or we're on a high horse or we forget where we came from, right? And, and that, it pushes people away. And I believe that the ones that are running from God, God's looking at the ones who have caused harm to them. You know, I've talked about this a lot because I see it and it, it breaks my heart. But, you know, and, and scripture says, love God first and he commands us to love others. And so if you don't, if you're feeling like you're not loving or loving people, I, w I would challenge you or encourage you, sorry, not challenge, encourage you to look at your heart. Where's your heart, right? Because I know every, uh, for many, many years, I I was miserable and, and I just hated the world because it, I didn't love who I was. And as I worked on that love, self-love and everything is such a healing process. And believe me, it was a process. It's easier for me to love people now. When we open our hearts up to God and we say, okay, examine my heart, Lord, show me transform me change me there there's something inside that just switches and god's love is so sufficient and and so amazing that it transforms the hardest hardest of hearts you know so that's all i have today you know i encourage you to read first corinthians and really meditate on that love meditate on um examining your heart and in the spiritual gifts um if you don't know what your gift is if you haven't asked god about it pray you know, um, that's how we come together, you know, um, and it talks about prophecy too. Like that's a way to encourage others, encourage the unbelievers, a word of knowledge, you know, wisdom, faith, you know, faith. It's my favorite. Um, and it also says this in uh, 1 Corinthians thirteen thirteen. it says, there are three things that will endure, faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these are is love. That to me, I love that endurance with your faith, hope, and love. You know, it's just those are the three things that like, those are three things that will change your life. And um, love is the greatest one of those, you know, uh, losing hope, no faith, didn't love, found, um, found faith, got my hope, and now I'm working on loving, you know. So I'm going to close this in prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, I just come before you in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for your love. God, I thank you for your spiritual gifts and all that you bless us with. Father, I thank you for your trans transforming love. I thank you for your relationship, God. I just lift everybody up who's listening to this right now, Father, and I pray um, blessings on their life, Lord. Every part that they feel uh, frustrated, uh, stressed out, heaviness, burden, grief, um, hopelessness. I pray, Father, that you just bring the opposite into their life. If they're feeling hopeless, Lord, fill them with hope. If they're feeling burdened, Lord, fill them with a light yoke, Father. We just we just surrender every single thing at your feet, God. We believe in you, Lord, to bring miracles in our life, Lord. We, we believe in you to bring transformation in our life, Father. If we're lacking in love, Lord, Teach us, guide us, show us how to love. Lord, the ones that we, we get angry or mad with, Father, Lord, show us them through your heart, Father, in the name of Jesus. 
Help us to forgive, Lord, so we can be closer to you, God. Help us to love, Father, so we can be your walking light, bringing glory and honor to you, Father. I give you all the glory, Lord, and we just repent, Father, for our sins, knowing and unknowingly, God. We lay them at your feet, and we just thank you, Jesus, for your sacrifice. We thank you for all that you've done, Lord, and I pray for new doors open. I pray for um, new situation, resolution, and whatever is going on in their life, Father, um, I just pray for everybody, Lord, that is going through it, God. I just pray for the pain and the divide and the hard, hard things that are going on in our wor world right now, God. We need you more than ever, Lord. We need you. We need to hear your voice, God, your direction. We're nothing without you, Lord, so I give you all the glory. I honor you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I hope that you have a great week. I hope you have a great day. Um, be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. Um, and I just, I love you. I hope you have a great, great week. And I will see you next Sunday. Take care.